Alright, fellas, listen up here. We got a big week this week, another big this week. It's week seven and we're up against the Orlando Thwack. Okay, now I don't want you to listen to any of the outside noise. This is an important week. It's a must-win week, okay? It's important that we execute, execute, execute. Do your jobs out there, all right? Do what you're supposed to do. You gotta deal with the big dragon, and you gotta deal with the bunny rabbit. But we got this, okay? You don't fall for no trick rooms out there, okay? Just do your jobs. All right, and we're going to get this win, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Bring it in here. Connecticut Corvinites on three. One, two, three. Okay, and we are here in the battle for week seven versus the Orlando Thwack. We see Megalopony, Raikou, Escavalier, Colossal, Vaporeon, and Salamence. Okay. Um, so we do see Megalopony and we do see Salamence. Um, we see the Colossal, which I was not really expecting, um, but that's interesting. Uh, we do see the Vaporeon, no Corsola though, so that's good. And we do see the Escavalier, um, but no Hatterene, so no Hatterene means no Trick Room. Um, but Escavalier is still a threat nonetheless, so... Like have fun. Let's see. So for a lead, um, not sure what exactly I want to lead with, to be honest. Um, Combo mm, looks like it could be good here, definitely. Earthquake is good for Colossal. The Scavalier is going to be tricky. Um, to deal with, for sure. We don't really have a good switching to a scout leader, to be honest. Um, Raikou is also annoying. Kind of just want to leave with Rotom, to be honest. I think that's my best bet versus like a potential Raikou. Um, anything else, I think we can switch into. Like wheezing. So we see a Cole also lead, uh, which is interesting. I'm not really sure what he's going to want to go for turn 1, except for maybe Stealth Rock. Which is fair. I definitely don't want to stay in, though, because he could just go for a Fire move and potentially take us out. So I'm just going to put Volt Switch. Yep. Um, and I think... Uh, against this thing, honestly, I just want to go Hard Combo, oh, I think. My best play. Um, I don't have to Dragon Dance right away, but like in terms of just threatening this out, that's my best play. So we do see Stealth Rock there. That was pretty, um, pretty expected. There's really not much of a reason for me to go for Dragon Dance turn one. I know it's tempting. Um, we might just see a Vaporeon here. Although, honestly, like, if I do start Dragon Dancing here, um, it could put me in a, in a good position, potentially. It could actually put me in a pretty good position. I don't think he'll stay in. If we Dragon Dance now, we can't win the fit late game, but we can um, potentially punch some serious holes in his team really early on, so... I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance and see what he does. So he goes hard Salamence and gets an Intimidate off. That's interesting. That's definitely interesting. He went hard into his Salamence. I'm not sure what... Um, what kind of Salamence he has. He does have the Intimidate and not the Moxie. So, it leads me to believe he's not Choice Scarfed. I feel like if he was Choice Scarfed, he would have the Moxie. Uh, not necessarily, though. But I think I would outspeed, but I don't think it's worth it for me to stay in here. Because after the attack drop, I don't think I can take this out with one hit. With Dragon Claw, and he might go for something like Draco Meteor or something. Um, I think my safest play is just to switch into Jirachi. 
mean, I could, alternatively, I could go Weezing. But it's, I like Jirachi a little bit better because I kind of have a feeling he, he's going to go for Draco Meteor. I don't think it's worth it for me to stay in. I really don't. He goes for Dragon Tail. Interesting. Well, I am right back out. So, Dragon Tail leads me to believe he's more of a defensive variant, um, which is fine. But that is annoying. I must say, that is annoying. I think I'm going to go Weezing here. Um, it's a little bit obvious, but I think it's my best play. Yeah, so he goes for Dragon Claw that time. So he has Dragon Claw and Dragon Tail. Now Weezing is here, so that's good. I want to go for Fire Blast, and I want to hit a Scavalier. Uh, my safest play, though, is by far just going for Strange Steam. He's not going to stay in, though. I know he's not going to stay in. So I'm going to click Fire Blast. Yep. Yep. Oof. 98%. I take that. And we've got a little bit of speed creep to guarantee we outspeed this, so now I'm just going to knock it out with Strange Steam. He's actually faster, which is interesting. He might be like max speed? Scarfed? I don't know. I was not expecting him to go first there. But either way, uh, we eliminate we eliminate Escavalier, which is really good. I'm really happy about that. Because Escavalier was a problem. But... Now our Weezing is a little bit weak for this right here, Megalopa, which is a new problem. Um, which is an entirely new problem. I'm not sure if we can live a hit from this range of HP, but either way, I think it's worth it for me to just try to pain split. So it goes for a U-turn. To be honest, I didn't know this thing got U-turn. He also didn't Mega Evolve. I don't know if that was a mistake. Pain splitting here is great because we just heal up back to full HP because the Vaporeon has so much HP. So that worked out perfectly for us. That was the um, best turn I could have asked for right there. So now Vaporeon is here. And Weezing's back at full HP. And Escavalier's dead. This is great. Um, I want to just go Rotom. I'm not sure what this is going to go with this Vaporeon is going to do. Could just go for Wish. Um, could just fire off his Gulb. But. Just gonna go into a room. He goes for Toxic. I'm fine with that because I have Rest. He doesn't know that, but I have Rest. Um, I'm gonna put Nasty Plot now. If he goes Colossal, that's fine. Okay, perfect. That works out just fine for me because he clicks Protect, probably thinking that I'm Choice. But I'm not. I'm Nasty Plot. Um, not sure if he'll switch or what, but I think my best play here is to just go for rest and heal up. Like, no matter what he switches into, I have a lot of attack. I'm just gonna go for rest. Eh, like, alternatively, I can just go for Volt Switch, though. And that's also really good for me, but I'm gonna come back in. You know what? I think it's fine. Well, no, because if I come back in, I take stealth rock damage. I'm at like 55 and I'm toxic. It's going to be harder for me to do with like a potential Raikou. So I think my best play is to just put this too. Yeah, because Cole also comes out. We outspeed this either way. So I think going for rest there was fine. I don't know if Leaf Storm knocks this thing out, but I'm going to go for it here and hope that it does. I'm actually just gonna miss. So I'm actually just gonna miss uh, Leaf Storm. So that's unfortunate. That's extremely unfortunate. Um, I don't know if that would have knocked him out, but it would have done a lot of damage after that nasty plot. That's a big sad. That's a big sad. Um, we're still in it though. We're still in it though. Because
this is a good opportunity for me to bring out Crocodile, actually. This is actually a really good opportunity for me to bring out Crocodile. He reveals Heat Crash. Um, there's no way he stays in here if you're in the Mythquake. I think he's very likely to just go into Salamence here, but I'm just going to click Knock Off. Okay, Vaporeon, that's fine also. So it actually just dies outright to a Choice Banded knockoff. So we take that. That's beautiful. So Vaporeon's dead. Um, Megalopony is here now, but Weezing is healthy again, so I'm just going to switch into Weezing. Fake out. I don't know, this 14, that's fine. Um, and yeah, I think uh, just firing off a strange steam is pretty free. Might go back into Colossal potentially. Yep, that's fine. Uh, 10. Mm. Yeah, I don't have great switch ins to this. Um, I think Coma O is my best play. Even if he goes for like Will O Wisp, like we have the Lumberry, so it's fine. But that um, bulky Salamence is kind of an issue. It's definitely an issue. Raikou still being at full HP is a little bit concerning also. Now that uh, we lost our Rotom. Uh, that Raikou is looking like his win condition. So we gotta make sure we can deal with that Raikou. Alternatively, I could just go Crocodile here. I don't know what he's going to go for. I still think Coma always has a good chance of winning, winning this game for us. Uh, but... It depends. Um, I either want to go Como here or Crocodile. I think Crocodile. I think I think I need Como -O more for the late game, so I think Crocodile is a little bit more expendable just because Crocodile is not faster than Raikou or Mega Lopunny. I'm gonna go hard Crocodile. He will this turn, that's fine. Okay, he crashed, we with that, cool. I was just worried about getting burned that turn, but luckily just went for crash so that worked out perfectly um i could go for earthquake here but i think he's like almost definitely gonna go salamence here and i want to really i really want to knock off whatever item it has i could rock tomb to try to hit that salamence but i think knock off is just more valuable for letting making it lead its item we actually see mega Lopin, okay that only did 32 since so resisted but that's a decent chip damage um and yeah, I mean, I, I I really don't have a reason not to just go straight back into Weezing, to be honest. Um, keeping Jirachi healthy in the back is good for right people plus Salivants. I can deal with those things. Um, I mean, additionally, going Jirachi now might be nice just for getting off the Toxic. I think I might do that, actually. Because if I get off Toxic now, that Toxic damage will rack up more quickly, rather than if I save Jirachi. So yeah, right here I'm going to go for Toxic. I don't think he'll stay in, probably just U-turn. Probably just back into Colossal, if we're being honest. So... Let's see... It. Oh my god, and we missed a Toxic. This Colossal is dodging all of my attacks, dude. Why does this Colossal dodge every single attack that I've been going for? I'm just gonna click Protect here, just to gain a little bit more HP. I know he's gonna go for Heat Crash. Uh, man, I, I can't believe this Colossal is dodging all my attacks. This thing should be dead. 
we can just run over to crash here. Yep, do with that. Cool. Um, Just go for an off again. Even if he goes low penny again, like that's okay. I really want to catch that sound as though. I think I just go for an off off again though. Unless I double out into Jirachi. I think I might do that actually. There's no way he stays in. I want to make the double out into Jirachi. I don't think he stays in. Yeah. Yep, okay, cool. I'm totally cool with that. I mean, I could have hit him with the hook but that's fine. Because right here, I just want to toxic this fucking Salamence, like, honestly. So he has Crunch. Okay. Interesting. I was not not anticipating a Crunch. Um, Wish might have been my better play. Oh, so there's Raikou here. Probably gonna take me out this turn. I'm not wish. It's Shadow Ball, okay. He's the life orb. That's good to know. Um I need to think here. I'm going to attempt to eliminate this Raikou with Destiny Bond, I think. I don't think I have a better way of dealing with it. Because Crocodile is so low, it'll die to like an Aura Sphere or a Skull or something. Weezing's not going to take an Extra Sensory. Not a Life Orb Extra Sensory if he has it. I'm honestly, I'm expecting him to carry Extra Sensory. Because it hits Coma O and Weezing. I'm gonna go ban it, and I'm just gonna click Destiny Bond. If he takes me out, he takes me out. I'm totally fine with that. I have a feeling that sound is gonna be a salt post. Let's see. He plays Calm Mind. That's a little spooky. I'm gonna click Shadow Claw here. If he takes me out, the Destiny Bond will still take him out, and I will be slower, so we can click Shadow Claw. Yep. That's a crit. He goes down to 1% there, which um, is actually great, because that means he dies to Life Orb. Um, if I had the Shadow Sneak, that would actually be so nice, but I don't have the Shadow Sneak. I wish I did have the Shadow Sneak right here. I opted for the knockoff instead. But, yeah. So this is good though. Either way, I, I think I take out this Raikou this turn. Um, and if we, I'm, I'm, like, I'm fine with trading Bayonet for Raikou here. I think that's worthwhile for me. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna click Knock Off. He Shadow Balls me, but he does the Life Orb, so it's worth it. Okay. So that's, that's cool. Um, now, the question is, it's a double down, what are we each going to go into? So, I think Dragon Dance can win me this game, but, um, I need to be at full HP to live ahead from Salamence. Um, 
I can set up on Colossal though. Like definitely. Like without a doubt I can set up on Colossal. Um, so yeah, I think eh, if I were him, I would probably just go with him. I think that's his, his best player. Um, I, I think I want to go uh, Weezing. Um, because Weezing gives me a good matchup versus either the Salamence or the Lopini, and it kind of forces him to bring in the Colossal. At which point, uh, I can just go Crocodile. Um, if I live a Heat Crash, which I'm, I don't think I will. Um, that's great, I can go for knockoff. Uh, if I die to Heat Crash, then I can just go for Dragon Dance and attempt to win the game. So I think that's my plan. Um, I think that's my plan. I'm gonna go Weezing. Yep, so we do see Lopany. So we do see Lopany. Um, I'm gonna go for Sludge Bomb. Just to fish for like a poison on the Colossal. Goes for fake out, like that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, Strange Team is, is better though, in case he stays in. For like some odd reason. Strange Team is just safer for me. But he does U turn. Presumably into Cole also. That's fine. Yo! So, he's confused, which is great actually. So, um, keeping Weezing alive is worth it. Um, Salamence hasn't revealed anything that can hit Weezing. Like, I'm immune to Dragon Tail, Dragon Claw, and Resist Crunch. Um, unless he has, like, Iron Head, um, he's not going to be able to hit Weezing. And Weezing can still deal with Lopin, even at half HP. So, it's worth saving Weezing, definitely. And I'm just going to go Crocodile here and hope that he hits himself in confusion. And there's no justice in this game. But, this is our opportunity to click the Dragon Dance. This is our opportunity to go for the Dragon Dance. Let's see it, Como. <sighs> that Leaf Storm miss early on in the game really sucked. Because this Colossal would have been dead turns ago. And... Um, we probably would have won already. He goes hard, Salamence. Yep. Kind of saw that coming. We just kind of have to hope and pray here that, um, we can take him out and not die. I want to say we can live a Dragon Claw, though, because we have some defense investment. And I don't know if he's, like, max attack. He could be. I'm just going to go for Dragon Claw, though. It's my best play. Oh, he dies actually just died in one hit. Guys, you've seen it first. Fucking Toxic. That's right. That Toxic came into play. Um, oh, he was sashed. That way, though. So we might just win here. Drain Punch, like, should kill this. Do I have enough speed to outspeed? Yep. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted Komo to just come in and clean up the game. And that's exactly what Kamo was going to do. Beautiful. GG. Beautiful win for week 7 right there. Kamo O coming in clutch. Showing everyone why Kamo O is one of the best Dragon Dance users in the game. That is, that's the first time I brought Dragon Dance Kamo O all season. And it worked out perfectly. We got the speed boost late game. Outsped everything we needed to, and just had the perfect moves to one-hit KO everything. We didn't even need the attack boost. And, um, yeah, we just cleaned up his team perfectly right there. So that worked out exactly how I wanted it to. GG to Barrett. Um, thank you all for watching, and that's a dub for Week 7. See y'all later. Goodbye.